The laws 11 through 19 are based on the book 48 Laws of Power and give insights into human behavior and influencing others. So let's dive right in. Law 10, Infection. Avoid the unhappy and the unlucky. In law number 10, we encounter the law of infection. It suggests that emotional states can be as infectious as diseases. Surrounding ourselves with unhappy and unlucky individuals can lead to our own downfall. Instead, it is advised to associate with happy and fortunate people to maintain a positive mindset. Law 11. Learn to keep people dependent on you. Moving on to Law 11, we have the Law of Dependency. This law emphasizes the importance of being needed and wanted to maintain independence. The more people rely on us, the more freedom we have. However, it's crucial not to teach them enough to become self-sufficient, ensuring they continue to depend on us for their happiness. Law 12. Use selective honesty and generosity to disarm your victim. Law 12 introduces the concept of selective honesty and generosity. It suggests that one sincere act can cover up multiple dishonest ones. By being honest, we can lower the guard of suspicious individuals and gain their trust. Once their shield is down, we can then deceive them strategically. Law 13. When asking for help, appeal to people's self-interest, never to their mercy. Law 13 advises us to appeal to people's self-interest when seeking help. Reminding them of past deeds or appealing to their mercy might not be as effective as finding something that will benefit them and emphasizing it. By highlighting the personal advantages, we increase the likelihood of receiving assistance. Law 14. Pose as a friend, work as a spy. Law 14 encourages us to adopt a dual role, posing as a friend while working as a spy. This law suggests that we should learn to gather valuable information by asking indirect questions and probing subtly. Every interaction becomes an opportunity to gain insights and knowledge. Law 15. Crush your enemy totally. Law 15 emphasizes the importance of not stopping halfway when dealing with enemies. It suggests that more is lost by not completely crushing them in body and spirit. By eliminating any potential threats, we ensure our own safety and success. Law 16. Use absence to increase respect and honor. Law 16 introduces the concept of using absence strategically. It suggests that too much availability can decrease our value. By temporarily withdrawing from a group or situation, we create scarcity and make people talk about us. This in turn increases respect and honor. Law 17. Keep others in suspended terror. Cultivate an air of unpredictability. Law 17 advises us to cultivate an air of unpredictability to keep others on their toes. Being too predictable gives control to others, while inconsistent behavior can wear people out and discourage them from trying to explain things. However, it's important to note that extreme use of this law can lead to intimidation and terror. Law 18. Do not build fortresses to protect yourself as isolation is dangerous. Law 18 warns against isolating ourselves and building fortresses to protect us. Isolation cuts us off from valuable information and opportunities. It's better to mingle and be part of a crowd, as it shields us from our enemies and provides us with a network of support. Law 19. Know who you're dealing with. Do not offend the wrong person. Lastly, Law 19 reminds us to be cautious and know who we're dealing with. Offending the wrong person can have severe consequences. It's essential to assess the situation and understand the potential repercussions before engaging in any actions that might offend or harm others. And that concludes our exploration of these intriguing laws of power and manipulation. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.